Yo, during the ESPN broadcast here in the States, if you guys were watching it right after the uh, Junior Fa versus uh, Lucas Brown fight, in the background, while the commentators, Joe Tessitore, uh, you know, Tim Bradley, while the commentators were talking, trying to uh, pass some time, there were fights going on in the background. And one of those fights that were going on in the background was this fight between Emi Ahio and Tosoye. For whatever reason, ESPN preferred to show more talking from commentators instead of showing more boxing right after the Junior Fa versus Lucas Brown fight. If you were watching the broadcast on ESPN, which I did, there was like an hour, like an hour of like of of just the commentators talking and talking and talking and not really showing boxing. <laughs> And, you know, this Ahio fight was a fight that I was looking forward to. I thought they were going to show it prior to the main card being showed. But, uh, you know, they showed it right after the Fa fight. But I don't know why they didn't show it on ESPN here in the States. I'm sure in Australia, whoever broadcasted this event, whoever broadcasted this, uh, you know, pay-per-view event in Australia, they probably showed this event. Um, but I can't find it anywhere, to be honest with you. Uh, I can't find the fight anywhere. Uh, but from what I've read, it looks like it was a pretty dominant win from M Hemi Ahio. Looks like he did some really good work in the inside, upstairs and downstairs. And um, Tosoya didn't want con didn't want to continue after the first round. So uh, Hemi Ahio ends up winning this fight by TKO in round number one. Um, yeah, it, it's just ridiculous how ESPN didn't show us this fight. I think there were like two or three fights. And I remember seeing Tosoya in the background. I was like, is that Tosoya in the back? Because I could see, you know, his hair, the way he looks. And I was like, yo, they're, they're seriously not showing us the fights in the background. And uh, it, it, it was ridiculous last night how how they, they intentionally uh, continued talking and talking to to pass time just because the Brown fight, the Lucas Brown versus Junior Fa fight ended up ended really early uh, with Lucas Brown pulling off the huge upset, knocking out Junior Fa in round number one. Um, but anyway, uh, Tosoye, you know, him not wanting to continue, it is what it is. He suffers his uh, fifth loss in his pro career. I mean, going into this fight, it was kind of expected him for him to lose. I didn't expect him to lose on, you know, in the corner, him not wanting to continue, but um, I don't know why he didn't want to continue. Uh, maybe the, the the body work from Ahio was a little bit too much for him. Maybe, uh, but you know another win for Hemi Ahio, who improves to 19 and 0 now, remaining undefeated. Uh, 14 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Uh, would love to see him step up. It's definitely time to step up for Ahio. Um, you know, fighting guys like Tosoya doesn't really do much for you, in my opinion. Uh, it's more of a, just a stay busy fight to get, you know, to pad up your, your record, to put another win in your record. Uh, would like to see Ahio step it up, fight some bigger names, fight the top 20 guys. I, I, I'd like to see him also lose some weight. It seems like he's gained some weight looking at the pictures from the fight. Um, you know, for previous fights before, he was around 230. Now he was around 250, close to 260. So he's definitely gained some weight and it, it doesn't look like it's muscle. It looks more like it's... You know, it looks more like a belly, if you ask me. Um, so maybe fighting a bigger name, fighting a, a, a you know a tougher opponent, will bring out that best, the best of a heel in camp. So hopefully, um, like I said, hopefully he fights somebody more notable next time around. And uh, yeah, um, good job to a heel on the win. If you did see the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.